Tim Kleindies has scored two goals himself, and he is the front man today for Frank Schmidt. And up front, that man, Sven Michel, who lines up alongside Philipp Tietz. All that inside uh, first quarter an hour, basically. Again, Bester. That's looking good, and it's there! Quick thinking, quick feet. And there was a quick right boot from Tim Kleindienst to bring Heidenheim in front. It was a good corner. That was a good corner. This time he went for the second post where Adrian Beck was standing all alone. Way too much space there. Gets that ball back in front of, uh, of the goal. And of course, a man like him, you don't have to ask twice. That was a good ball in, as you uh, quite rightly said there, from the new man in, Adrian Beck. Yeah. But uh, the right boot flashed out like... Yeah, yeah. but, but this, is, this is what he does. And now here they come, they come again over the wing. This time, Kleindienz is the one feeding Traoré. And again! Oh, quick fire goals here! How about that from Jan Niklas Bester? And for Finn Darman, it's not getting any better, he's getting worse. And now he knows what he has to deal with. Exactly this, and this is a nightmare for the new coach and his team. Very quick reaction this time, well played over the side. Our Kleindienz found Traoré, Traoré found Jan Niklas Bester, and he uses his right foot this time. Usually his left foot is his primary weapon. But this time his right foot does the job as well. Two goals in back-to-back -back minutes. Jensen to take. It's good and high. And there is the goal. Scored by Philip Tietz. Well, that was a perfect corner, but they did not have Philip Tietz on the radar. Augsburg yeah, but gets goal number one in the Bundesliga. He's never scored before. And like... Like the second goal of Heidenheim, there's a man absolutely free on the second post. And of course, that's a, a, a real mistake there. There must have been a misunderstanding before I think Leonard Maloney was coming late to face Philip Dietz. Keep tight, keep coming back. They know on the pitch what he means. Ball headed forward from Rex Pajai. Dietz with the touch, laid off nicely. What a cracking goal! What a brilliant goal for Mats Pedersen! Wow. He's only ever scored two goals! This was something special. Again, a long throw-in that was almost being dealt with, but the ball gets back. Philip Dietz, the man who scored the first goal for Augsburg, controls it well against Zierslehm this time. And now look at that. This is the only way how he can get the shot off in time because he's been approached by, by Ding Chi. Zierslehm pushes over. And now this is, of course, something that uh, just... Uh, Taub and his team really can work with the momentum now absolutely on Augsburg's side and here they come again they've got that power again Jensen oh good right hand but he still can't stop it and they're back in business and the man who has not been seen on the pitch at the moment the phantom and captain Ermedin Demirovic has just wiped the smiles off the faces of Heidenheim Augsburg, 3-2, 2-0, and all that in the first 41 minutes. Yeah, we've seen the goals back-to-back -back for Heidenheim early, and now we see the same thing for Augsburg because they use the momentum and they do it well. Over their right side, Jensen gets that ball into the danger zone. We have to say that Kevin Müller is also involved in this. He gets a hand on the ball but can't get it out of the, uh, get it out of the danger zone. A corner kick from the man we just saw almost scoring his first goal of the campaign. Frederick Jensen from Finland. It's a good delivery! It's a good goal! And it's Augsburg who lead by four goals to two. And what a way to do it. Udo Kai. Felix Udo Kai. Yeah, I thought that ball was not good. I think it was intended to go a little higher, but they will think, yeah, what the hell, we, we'll take it anyway. It goes all the way through in front of the goal, and it's the chest or the tummy of Felix Urukai that he scored with. Now it's his chest. I 
be comparable. Jan Niklas best, best is not able to save that. Rex Pachai is always wanting to get involved. That's a good ball. And this is looking promising. And it could have gone in, but it's knocked over the yeah. bar. Claim of a ham ball here yeah, from yeah. Uh, Robert Gumney. That arm and the arm was a little in the air. There you have it. Oh dear. It looks strange, but it's going to be a good call there. Even though that would have changed anything. Elvis. And he's buried it. That is a tremendous strike from Elvis Rex Pajai. A very well taken penalty indeed. That is the final whistle in a game that has thrilled us right from the off because we have seen six goals.